What is up guys and welcome back to our Hull City Crew mode, episode number 19. First up today, we've got Everton in some game. Now, normally I might have played this, it's in the FA Cup, um, but I've decided to, oh, sorry, the AFL Cup, but I've decided to sim it because, you know, I have Everton actually later on in the episode, which I will be playing. But anyway, we get a good 2-1 um, win there in extra time, so into the next round, a uh, good team to beat Everton because, you know, they have a lot of good players. And also, we had a sim game in the league. I mean, it's Burnley at home. They don't have the best of sides. We took one of their better players. We actually give them two of our players this season in Snodgrass and um, Naki Wells. And obviously, they give us their best striker in Andrea Gray. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I wouldn't have probably seen that Everton game. But I have Everton later on, and that will be my second game I will be playing and showing you guys. But, um, you know, I just. I just don't like it when, you know, you you play the team twice in one episode. I just don't see the point. So, you know, send that game, then we'll, we'll play him away at Goodison Park, which is probably the harder fixture as we are going away to Goodison Park. But anyway, first up, we did have Bayern Laser Cusin, and we did have to beat these last time in the Champions League 1-0. Um, Rashford got the penalty. He actually missed the penalty as well. So, you know, we was hoping to kind of have the same result, really. And um, to be fair, we started really... Well off, Gray putting a shot there, Leno saved it, but there was that man again, Rashford, who was just as unbelievable, he's such a great player, he's such a great player guys, he's just, I just don't know how he's so good, I mean he's only 79 rated, and he's, I prefer him to like loads of high rated strikers, it's just, he's just a great player, and as you see, fourth goal in the Champions League, 20 minutes gone, we're one nil up, and uh, I was sensing a second to be fair, Bayern Leverkusen very early on was not in this game, they weren't playing well, and especially they weren't defending well, and as you see, Rashford again gets in a great spot, he fires in a great shot, and it results in a goal, so, you know, we're now 2 nil up already really early on, and, you know, Bayern Leverkusen, like I said, they just didn't show up this game at all, it was just, they were just crap, Rashford makes it 2 nil, and he gets his fifth goal in this Champions League um, game. Now, they did have a chance here, Bayern Leverkusen. Don't get me wrong. The thing is, they, they didn't play that bad, Bayern Leverkusen. It's just the first half and the first kind of, like, 30 minutes. They were just so bad. They really was. The defending was absolutely atrocious. And as you see, um, obviously, we're going to halftime, 2-0 up. Very well done by the lads. Great player there. And uh, it kind of got worse for Bayern Leverkusen. Because as you see... Play ball through to Rashford again. He goes on. And this goal is my favourite out of the three. One of my favourites this season. It's a great, great strike. Leno, maybe could be saving it. I don't know. But the main thing is he just, you know, he powers that. Look at the power on this strike. Leno had, no, well, did Leno have no shot? I don't know. I mean, he could have maybe tried to save it better. It's that animation on FIFA where, like, if you if you hit a really powerful shot, the goalkeeper just like falls over, and um, obviously that kind of occurred. But anyway, 3 0 up, and you know, I could tell the game was done. Game set and match. Bayern Leverkusen was still pushing on, still creating chances, but you know, they weren't going to score. Somehow, I was quite surprised they actually didn't get a goal, but all their chances were just like high and wide. In, for I don't know why. But anyway, there's Rashford getting the match ball, well deserved match ball. He's playing outstanding now, guys. He's just such a good player, and uh, I'll be looking to keep him in. Um, January because you know if obviously on FIFA what happens is if you are a big club to start with then you know it's it's a bit weird because like we are we are top of the league now so we are kind of like the best team in England and we're actually doing and we're basically one of the best teams in Europe because we're smashing our Champions League group with Barcelona and Bayern Leverkusen in it but it's that kind of philosophy thing where if you don't start as a good team that's you know like Manchester United, Man City, Chelsea and all that, for some reason, it's, you, you know, when you when you start with a, a lesser team and start to become good, you know, you don't kind of build that foundation and that kind of philosophy to do with big clubs. I just don't get why. I don't get why FIFA, you know, don't change that because, you know, you get you play teams against Ar you play against Arsenal, like Man U and everything, and they're playing like second teams against you when you're top of the league and when Marcus Rashford is scoring loads of goals. It's just odd, really odd. And I think one of that thing, what I've been asking FIFA to fix for ages is that because I just, it's a, 
crap to be fair it is really bad like I'm playing a lot of second teams here with the bigger teams and you know you did it last year and it's the same here so I think they need to change that but anyway the main thing was Everton was this game away at Goodson Park and we was winning 1-0 um, you know it was a good goal to be fair good header by that man again Marcus Rashford who scored all my goals in, in this episode so far but Everton did get a goal back and I mean oh, it was just a bad goal wanted to concede it just was um, this guy Tarish Shag don't know who he is, um, if he's a good player or not. Again, like I said, they might be playing a, some of their second team players. But, you know, I, I, like I said, I don't know who he is. Um, I think it took about four passes between four players to get that goal in the 69th minute. But, um, yeah, that was it for the second half. Not a lot going on. First half was alright. Second half was kind of crap because we conceded and there wasn't anything going on. So, um, you know, that was the game of Everton. Pretty pretty dull, but, you know, there were a few goals. Uh, I'll take a draw away at Goodison Park. They have got a good team, Everton. So, uh, you know, I'll take every day of the week. But anyway, it was on to Leicester. Now, we haven't lost, obviously, this season so far. We're still unbeaten in the league anyway. Well, even in the Champions League. But... You know, it's always you know, it's always going to come in it, the loss. It's always going to be here. Um, and to be fair, guys, against Leicester at home, this was the game. We couldn't, you know, follow the invincible kind of team as Arsenal. Very annoying. They had a chance here. Uh, Slamani getting in. Good save by uh, Costil, but they kept it alive. And I don't know what I was doing with Robertson here, but I just gave the ball away. They came in. Slamani again had a shot. And there was Karamik. Uh, and out of a, out of kind of team players, he didn't play for Leicester at all this year. I think he's out on loan somewhere, to be fair. But, um, yeah, that, that was probably my fault with the goal. I mean, you know, I, I gave the ball away to Robertson. I shouldn't have done it. I should have just kicked it out or kicked it up the field. And in the end, I obviously came back on myself and the scores kind of near half-time. So, 44th minute, the 44th uh, number player, Karamik, does get a goal and that was it. So, you know... Half time gone, and to be fair, Leicester deserved it. You know, we weren't in the game at all. We had a few chances early on, but that was it. Second half, they came out all guns blazing again. And as you see from the corner, they cross it in. Jeff Lewis Schlupp, of all players, is there at the back post. He puts it in with his weaker foot, and you know, they go up 2 0 up. So, you know, like I said, they deserved the win. We were rubbish, we couldn't do anything about it. And I see on the replay, the marking is terrible. It's just really scrappy, tacky goal. And just very disappointing to lose like that. You know, lose at home especially as well. Because at home it's meant to be a fortress. And, you know, I'm a bit gutted. I'm actually really surprised how we didn't score here. Fabian Delph. I mean, what is he doing with this shot? He just hit it at Hamer. I don't know if that hit, I don't know if Hamer's glitched or not. Or uh, Schmeichel and that other guy, uh, their goalkeeper's just injured or what. But anyway, we lose our first ever game. Uh, well, we lose our first game this season. Very disappointing to do that. But, you know, sometimes it happens. We'll move on and uh, we do a Barcelona next. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit like and subscribe if you are new. And guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.